Well, as Greece is told that it is unlikely to be able to return to the financial markets until 2012, one man says that Greece should reject the euro. That man is Mark Weisbrat. He is a co-director of the Centre for Economic and Policy Research, and he joins me now from Washington. Thank you for joining us. Um, your overall argument really is that uh, for the you. Greek people, leaving the euro would be a good idea. Can you tell us why you think so? Well, I don't think they should necessarily pull out right away, but they have to put that on the table because they're involved in a terrible collective bargaining process with the European authorities, including the IMF. And the authorities are more interested in punishing Greece than in helping them. So it's not really a rescue at all when you put this economy through years of recession, uh, nearly 15% unemployment, not expected to recover its pre-recession level of output for at least eight years and probably longer. So uh, there are many scenarios, including default and exiting the euro, that would cost the Greek people a lot less. And they have to put that on the table so that the uh, authorities will realize that they're serious. So really, I mean, you're saying that they should bargain a lot harder with the Germans, because, of course, the Germans would like uh, do want to keep Greece in the euro for all those reasons, uh, including the fact that German banks are very exposed to Greek debt. Um, and you think that really they haven't bargained hard enough? No, they're holding a lot of cards, and the same is true for Ireland and Portugal and Spain. And none of, all of these countries are going through, I mean, you know, the majority of economics profession, of the economics profession would agree with me on this. I mean, what is doing, what they're doing is wrong. They're squeezing these countries. They're engaged in pro-cyclical policies, which are prolonging their recessions, not allowing them to recover. And uh, this, is, this is something that has to end. Now, they could get lucky at some point. Europe and the United States and the whole world economy grow so fast that it pulls them out in spite of what they're doing to their own economies. But that, and that, I assume, is what the authorities are waiting for. But this may never happen, or it may happen in five years, and uh, in which case you know, they've gone through all this suffering uh, for way too long of a time. You know, I uh, have pointed to the example of Argentina, which had a similar process, uh, a three-and-a-half-year recession, uh, uh, which, where they were borrowing from the IMF and imposing this kind of austerity and the economy just kept getting worse, yeah. unemployment and poverty increased. Then they defaulted on their debt, got rid of the peg to the dollar, which was a similar thing to the euro, and, uh, and they shrank for only one quarter, and then they grew 63% over the next uh, six years. And no, very course, rapidly caught up with their pre-crisis level of GDP. Of course, the argument that's being put is that if Greece were to default, the markets would take it so badly that they wouldn't be able to get back in again for a generation. And the same is said for, for Ireland and, and also for Portugal. Do you think that's just simply not true, that there is too much scaremongering about what might happen in the event of a default? Yes, that's not true at all. I mean, you can look at the history of defaults anywhere and it, it hasn't had that kind of consequences. It's true, Argentina has uh, had a lot of trouble borrowing internationally since their uh, default, but it, has, like, you know, it hasn't hurt them. I mean, what matters is growth and employment, not your credit rating. Mm. And uh, so, you know, these creditors will squeeze them indefinitely. They mm. don't care. And uh, if Greece isn't going to uh, pose a, a credible threat, and the others as well, of default and disengagement uh, from the euro, then they don't, uh, they're, they're just going to keep squeezing them and, and hope that someday the rest of the world economy will, will maybe pull them out. Mm. Is there a middle ground here between what we've got at the moment with these very harsh uh, p punishments, if you like, for Greece and, and Ireland in terms of what they're repaying on their debt and the scenario, uh, the Argentinian scenario of default? Is there, is there a kind of a middle way? Oh, sure, there's lots of middle ways, but the European authorities would have to agree to it. I mean, they have, uh, you know, over a trillion dollars of resources. You know, what does Greece need? It's tiny, 5% of that maybe. You know, uh, they, you know they, could, uh, they could help Greece to grow, uh, to do what most of the economies in the world did in 2009, which they engaged in counter-cyclical policy to get out of the world recession and their own recession. And so they could do the right thing. And so you could have all kinds of uh, agreements. You could have a debt restructuring that really uh, actually 
uh, allowed uh, Greece to grow them. But the key thing is the macroeconomic conditions. They cannot shrink their way out of this recession. They're going to have to grow their way out. And right now, there's absolutely no sign that European authorities are even contemplating allowing that possibility.